Ole Shoinka has expressed appreciation to the people of Egbaland and across the world for the, for the celebration of their father in an unusual way. His son, Olaok Shoinka, made his known at the sidelines of the special cultural performance held in, the honor, in his honor in Abelkota. Senior reporter, Kazim Olowe, reports. <laughs> It was a special event loaded with lots of performances as Egba people converged on the cultural center Kuto Abe Ukuta to celebrate the literary icon Wale Shoyinka. <laughs> different groups representing different interests and parts of Wale Shoyinka were present at the event. Oh, then for the Lion of Africa, let the drums roll a thousand times. For the hunter of hunters, a carnival of chance. His writing the reminds of the lessons of Paul, and just like David, he reminds us of being a man after the people's heart. Just like the coat of many colors, his interest in hunting, culture and tradition, human rights and social justice, literature among others were projected by different groups in attendance. He's just a man of many parts, and that's why you see the whole of Egba, you know, doing our own bit here. So once again, I congratulate him, and I wish him many more years. The Alaki and Paramount ruler of Egba land said Egba is synonymous with greatness and encouraged parents to invest and support the education of their children. That we must encourage our children to develop their talents. If Wolosuika's parents had suppressed him when he was young and was going after those spirits, he would never have had the imagination to be as productive as he has been. And we must encourage our children to, to shun any injustice. Speaking on behalf of the family of Wale Shoyinka, his son Ola Okun Shoyinka expressed appreciation to the people of Egbaland, Nigeria and outside the country for the celebration of his father. What we want apart from people celebrating the man is to take on board the lessons of his life and, and the, the philosophy and the ideologies that he preaches, which is justice, equity, humanitarianism. For members of the National Association of Sea Dogs at Montana Deck, celebrating the united belly of the only surviving member of the Magnificent Seven, despite different struggles, depicts Wale Shoyinka as a cat with more than 90 lives. Kazimolowe, TVC News, Abe Okuta. And with that, it's a wrap on the news this hour. For more updates and stories we are monitoring, you can visit our website, www.tvc.